Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung says as Singapore's health care needs grow, it must continue to get the system right. And that means not just having more hospitals, doctors and nurses, but also ensuring that health care is properly delivered and paid for. Three. Officially opening the new Ng Teng Fong General Hospital and Jurong Community Hospital, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong noted that Singapore has one of the best healthcare systems in the world. And he stressed maintaining this is about getting the system right. Making sure that healthcare is delivered properly, the right care at the right place, making sure the healthcare is paid for properly so that the patient pays something, the government pays something, the insurance pays something. And each person, each party has an incentive not to overuse the system, not to overprescribe, not to over demand healthcare services. And to watch the cost and make sure that it's effective. And we've been able to do that so far, but it's not easy and it depends on our political support. Because basically, ultimately, Singaporeans must be willing to support the system and the government and support the government when it tries to keep the system efficient, accessible and sustainable. But Mr Lee added the system has to continue to be improved. That's because the country's needs are growing, especially with a rapidly ageing society. Healthcare expenditure will also grow. And we must make sure we keep on getting the system right and value for money. Apart from the incentives and the costs, I think we must all realize what a huge and complicated system our healthcare network is. And our challenge is, even as it becomes more complex to maintain the highest quality of medical care, of diagnosis, of treatment, of patient care. And that means a whole team has to work together. Mr. Lee added the two new hospitals will add much needed capacity to the healthcare system. It's been about three months since the integrated facility opened its doors, and today it operates 500 acute and 175 community hospital beds. When fully opened, there will be 700 acute and 400 community beds. But Mr. Lee noted hospitals are just one piece of the overall healthcare system. In Jurong, Mr. Lee said primary care facilities are being built up. For example, a new polyclinic is expected to open by 2017. Downstream, more nursing homes are also being built and elder care centres being expanded. So we're putting all the pieces together in Jurong, designing the whole system around the patients to be patient-centric. Not just the hospitals, but also the primary care, the aftercare, the nursing home, the outpatient treatment. Making sure that they all work together and the patient gets the right treatment at the right place. And overall, the system delivers better care for the patients in a cost-effective way. And that is what we will be doing all over Singapore. More hospitals are also set to open in the coming years, including Yishun Community Hospital at the end of this year. PM Lee also made his first comments on the hepatitis C outbreak at Singapore General Hospital. He said authorities must always be open and transparent to maintain public confidence and trust in the healthcare system. The hepatitis C outbreak at the Singapore General Hospital has been in the spotlight since it was reported on Tuesday. 22 patients in the hospital's renal ward were diagnosed with the virus, including four who have died. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong also weighed in on the incident. He noted that something will go wrong once in a while, as it evidently did at SGH. When something like this happens, our approach must always be first to put things right, to, to find out what's wrong, to put things right, to safeguard the health and well-being of patients, establish what happened, learn from the experience and improve and do better in future. And we also always have to be open and transparent with the public and with the patients about what has happened because we must maintain public confidence and trust in the healthcare system.
Mr. Lee added while he cannot say yet what happened in the SGH incident, this is the approach the health ministry is taking as it investigates the case. As for the new Ng Fong General Hospital and Zhuong Community Hospital, the hospital CEO said the SGH incident, while unfortunate, is also a reminder to step up vigilance. We have gone around and we brief our people that there must be an uncompromising uh, uh, adherence to infection control protocol and uh, we remind people that it is really very important. So, uh, so this is a good reminder for all of us. This is a good reminder for all of us to step up our vigilance. It's a good reminder that, that uh, simple practices can actually lead to some of this in infection that we have to be careful about. The hospital, which started its operations in June, said it already has processes in place, which are equivalent to those in many other hospitals. This evening, SGH said its medical social workers have been providing emotional support to patients and their families from that cluster of hep C cases. It has also contacted them to schedule what it calls a family conference. Now, this would involve the 14 affected patients and their families, as well as next of kin of the eight patients who died.